Push things a little bit too much in my latest quest to reach the top in pranking. It all began innocently enough, but then doesn't it always? Moron! While I'm waiting for a big prank to come along, I have to keep things going with little pranks, just to keep myself fresh. <laughs> the old plastic spider. Good one, Andy. I'm sick of that dweeb, Mom. He's always doing these stupid little pranks. Come on, Jen. Can't you take a little morning joke? <laughs> Andy! This is my Magazine-O-Rama extravaganza. It's not a big prank, more of the peripheral prank variety. All you need are some magazines and some bogus address stickers. Ah! Mom! There are ants in my underwear drawer! And now I have to get to school early for a change. Occasionally, the artful prankster must make sacrifices. <laughs> Mr. DeRosa will love having his staff know about his subscription to Rap Dance Moves Quarterly. But Mr. Hutchins shouldn't feel too smug. What with his fascination with popular cake decorating magazine. Peter Lick, East Gackle, Alberta. Toy Doll Digest. And Andrew Leach, Ballet Journal. Ha! Just when you think you know somebody. But here's the cherry on top of the cake. I've put my own name and address on Save the Baby Whales Monthly magazine. It'll help reveal my soft, sensitive side to Lori and every other girl who sees it in the washroom. I've got Lori hooked up to see me every day after school for the next two weeks. Whoa, how did you swing that? We're working together on the dinosaur project. Tomorrow is the archaeology field trip. The Brontosaurus only had one mate for life. The Allosaurus liked long, romantic walks on cool summer evenings. The Adaphosaurus always closed its eyes when it kissed. The Brachiosaurus used to curl up in front of a fire with its partner and listen to Leonard Cohen records. She's gonna be glued to my side as we exchange deep, passionate paleontology insights. Hey, Lick, heard you got a toy doll collection. Uh -huh. What? Do not! <laughs> Toy dolls. That's, you know, funny. I wouldn't laugh, Leech. I heard you subscribe to Ballet Journal. Huh? Bet you look cute in a tutu. You started early this morning. Here are the results on your archaeology tests. An A! B plus. A minus. A B plus. Right on. An F. All right. <laughs> hey, a C. I got a C minus. This will really boost my, you know, average. There's got to be some mistake. No mistake. You had only two correct answers. In all my years of teaching, I've never seen that on a multiple choice test. <laughs> Unbelievable, Way to go, Leech. What a moron! Lick and Leech did better than me. I think I made a serious miscalculation. I found the answers to Mr. Hutchins' archaeology test on the computer in the library. All quite accidentally, once I figured out the password. <laughs> but it must have been last year's test. Even so, how is it possible to do worse than Lick and Leech? Oh, come in, Professor. Come in. Class, I'd like you to meet Professor Livingston. It is his archaeological site we will be visiting. I'm sure they'll be more enthusiastic tomorrow. 
Oh, why should they be any different from everyone else? People have had their fill of all the dinosaur hype over the last number of years. I can't even get the newspaper's attention anymore. What you need is a hot mug of cocoa. Only two right? Even if you had answered C to all the questions, you would have got, on average, 25% correct. <laughs> he should have copied off a lick. <laughs> Ouch, that must hurt. Yes, Danny, it is humiliating. But right now, all I really care about is that I get to do the dinosaur project with Lori for two glorious weeks after school. Oh, Andy. I'm going to do the dinosaur project with Jervis. Jervis? I can't possibly work with someone who did worse on a test than Lick and Leech. It could bring my average way down and, and maybe even knock me off the honor roll. Sorry. Aww. Cheer up. I'll team up with you. Thanks, but no. Remember our rule, Danny. We only team up with hard-working, brainy, but naive kids on projects. Hey! What the... Not bad. Thanks. It helps ease the pain of Lori rejecting me for screwing up that dumb test. It's the kid who only got two answers right on a multiple-choice test. <laughs> what an idiot! You know, me and Leech have never done that bad on one of Hutchins' tests. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you know, the dumbest guy in history. <laughs> uh, this whole test thing is gonna ruin my prankster reputation. But what really gets me is Lori thinking I have an IQ of a fossil. I have to come up with something that makes me look brilliant. Like what? I don't know yet. But it has to be the mother of all pranks. I've got it! Can you get ointment for it? This could possibly be the biggest idea I've ever had. Well, don't keep me in suspenders. What is it? What if on the field trip tomorrow, I, Andy Larkin, make an amazing discovery? The greatest archaeological find of the millennium. Lori would be begging to do the project with me. I'd be a hero. Not a zero. Wow, sounds ambitious. But what are you going to find? A replica of this chicken wing bone. Aren't dinosaurs supposed to be big? This bone is going to be a thousand times bigger than it is now. Meet me at the school library right after school. You got it. Forget mother of all pranks. Make that the mother dinosaur of all pranks. Okay, ready. Coordinates are in 3D. All right, enter one centimeter represents 50 centimeters and print. Beautiful. Come on, we don't have much time. This plaster of Paris looks like the real McCoy. Now let's get this out of here. Grab your end. Yeah. Careful, Danny. Once we're outside, there's no getting back in. If we ruin this, we're sunk. Uh-oh. Lick and leech. Quick! Around the corner! No, no! I don't believe it! Oopsie. Well, what are we gonna do? We'll have to go to plan B. And I know what you're thinking. What's plan B? Right. What is plan B? I don't know yet. But every prankster knows there's got to be a plan B. How could you do so bad on that test? I want to change my name. Why didn't you study? I did study. I watched Jurassic Parking Lot 2. Hmm. Well, actually, it was the video game version. For your sake, I hope there's a heaven for loser dweebs. Mom and Dad went to a movie, and since you were working late at school, something I find hard to believe, they left you pizza money on the kitchen table. Loser! Did you come up with Plan B yet? 
I'd even settle for plan B minus. Yay, mush! Just what we need to get our brains working again. The cook was off tonight, so I made your pizza. Ow! 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 This crust is seriously overcooked. The simple thank you would have sufficed. Mush, you're a culinary genius. A chef extraordinaire. Ah, uh, you're just saying that. I think I chipped a tooth. Time for plan B. It's hard as a rock. Yeah, or a fossil. Good work, Mush. Now, I need you to do me a small favor. Man, why do I let you guys talk me into these things? Relax, Mush. The dig's just around the corner. This is gonna be my best prank ever! Yes, National Probe? This is Ronald R. Guishuti, the Minister's Press Secretary. I just wanted to officially deny all rumors that the Minister will be visiting Dr. Livingston's archaeological site today. Yes, that's right. He will not be meeting up with students from East Gackle School at that location. Grigsley, grab your camera and let's move. Let's face it, the press only believes the opposite of what you tell them. My discovery will be front page news. Why are you looking so self-satisfied? Are you up to something? No way, sis. Yesterday's F and all the humiliation that came with it was a humbling experience. I've turned over a new leaf. No more little pranks. Only Tyrannosaurus Rex-sized pranks. be here stomping on everything messing up our sight i'm just glad someone still shows an interest besides any publicity is good publicity <laughs> mr derosa welcome to our latest paleontology project hey einstein careful you don't get lost <laughs> <laughs> me and leech were thinking we could tutor you before the next archaeology test <laughs> <laughs> laugh on the other side of their faces when I make the archaeological discovery of the century. Lori, I just noticed a somewhat irregular soil formation that might indicate some sort of irregularity within the, uh, ground. Right over here. My uneducated guess is that right under here there could be some fossilized deposit. Hey, there's something here. Probably just a rock, but oh, it feels even bigger. I think maybe Andy, you found something. It's a fossil. Hey, everyone! Andy's found a fossil. Danny, do you have my fossil brush? Hmm. Do you think this might be from the Jurassic or Mesozoic era? Amazing, isn't it? What you can learn from video games. Oh my! This bone is in excellent condition. Who made this astounding discovery? Andy did. Well done, my boy. Do you know some archaeologists don't make a discovery like this in a whole lifetime of fieldwork? You may have a gift. I have a gift, all right. The gift for being the greatest prankster in the world. Look out, Prankster Hall of Fame. Save a corner for Andy Larkin. <laughs> See how Lori looked at me. <sighs> Amazing! Now, uh, one of you two together, Professor. Shit, please. And I'd just like to say that on behalf of young Mr. Larkin and his amazing discovery, my institute will contribute $10,000 to East Gackle's science department. Way to go! <laughs> These are the moments great pranksters live for. I am triumphant! Tomorrow morning, you are all invited to my Paleontology Institute. There, the fossil will undergo a DNA test to ascertain its authenticity. 
A DNA test? This is terrible! The school won't get the $10,000 and DeRosa will kill me! Not quickly, but slowly. Detention after detention. I'm heading back from hero to zero! I'm doomed! In less than one hour, we'll be at the Paleontology Institute, and I still haven't thought of a way out of this mess. I'm finished. I may as well just move the yellow knife. I have to agree. Ugh, there has to be a way to do it. Try calling the travel agency. No, I mean, there's got to be a way to pull the wool over their eyes. I have to trust the prankster force. What if that doesn't work? Then I check out those flights to Yellowknife and hope it's not too late to get a window seat. Way to go, Larkin. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you, thank you. I won't forget you once I'm rich and famous. I may as well bask in the rays of glory while I can. Gee, Andy, to think I was standing right beside you when you made the big discovery. Without you, Lori, it wouldn't have been possible. Really? Wow! And I know about how you want to save the baby whales. I do, too. So, Larkin, rap dance moves quarterly, huh? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Take a pill, Larkin. I just wanted to say what a clever gag it was. Very funny. You know, uh, I'd be very upset if you weren't a joy to have as a student. Joy to have as a student? Yuck! I liked it better when DeRosa hated me. You may get what you want. Unless you think up a brilliant new plan. So, did you think of anything? Nope. I keep drawing a blank. <laughs> Eureka! What do you mean? I took a shower this morning. Take a look. They want to do a test on a dinosaur bone? Well, then they shall do a test on a dinosaur bone. Aw, oh, what are you going to do? What we are going to do. Did you get it? You bet. That was a perfect diversion you pulled. That guard really believed you fainted. I had. All this stress is getting to me. Okay, Operation Diversion Part 2. Whoa, is this the computer that reads the DNA in the dinosaur bone chip? Well, it ain't a waffle iron. Is that one of those new Japanese models? Nope, we've had that one for a few years. Fascinating. Well, Danny, let's not take up any more of our friend's valuable time. And now, our computer program, using the dimensions of the bone, will create a projected reconstruction of the dinosaur, what this creature would have looked like. <gasps> Whoa! This is impressive. It resembles the common chicken, but lizardly and 40 feet tall. Does this prove that chickens once ruled the Earth? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my assistant has checked our DNA equipment with an authentic bone chip from one of our existing specimens and has confirmed that everything is working perfectly. I'll now replace said bone chip with one from the fossil we discovered yesterday. <gasps> oh no! This is a disaster! Must stop the DNA analysis! I've got to pull the plug on these machines! Planning to take a bow all on your own, Larkin? Not without me, you don't. The results are in. This fossil shares DNA with... Parmesan cheese and oregano? What's he talking about? Wait a moment. There is more information. The bone is constructed with... pizza dough? Is he ordering lunch? And unless pizzas once walked the earth, I'd say we've been hoodwinked in a very elaborate hoax. There's a boy in the Larkin, I should have known you were up to one of your pranks. You've cost us ten thousand dollars! Ladies and gentlemen of the press, yes. It seems we are the victims of a most amazing deception. But it's nice to see dinosaurs again in the spotlight as front page news. And it's glorious to see the press here finally giving my Paleontology Institute the attention it so richly deserves. I would like to know who the brilliant mind is who put all this together. We thought it would be great to, uh, oh, get the kids involved in the complicated world of science, so I, uh, asked young Mr. Larkin to come up with a, uh, a plan. 
An ingenious idea, Mr. DeRosa. Naturally, on these grounds, I'm still prepared to give the East Cackle Science Department the $10,000 endowment. Yeah! I guess that does make me a hero and not a zero. <laughs> Some things worked out pretty good. Mr. Hutchins told me he was going to raise my archaeology test mark to a B. As for Mr. DeRosa, it seemed that rap dance moves quarterly exposed him to a whole new way of life. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Best of all, Lori asked me to do the project with her. But not everything turned out great. Toy Doll Digest and Bally Journal, A eh, Larkin? We know it was you! Cause Lori left your, you know, Save the Baby Whales Monthly magazine on the bus. You gotta come down sometime. Maybe I better stay right where I am. With Lick and Leech in this mood, I think I'm in danger of becoming extinct like old T-Rex here. Yeah, <laughs>